Welcome back guys, in this video tutorial we will learn how we can add a proxy in our JSO crawler. Adding a proxy in our crawler is very important because we are giving too many requests to a website or uh, uh, some website won't allow you to crawl or extract their data. So that's why you need to uh, set the proxy before you can access any URL using JSO. That's why you have to hide your IP. You can do that by setting a proxy in your crawler. Under the hood, JSOP uses the Java built-in connection and HTTP URL connection classes. That means you can set the proxy in the same standard Java using system properties. <coughs> you can use set property method of uh, system class to set the proxy host or proxy port properties before you connect to a URL using JSOP. So let me write the code or to set the proxy in our crawler. Okay. So before going to this uh, website, we will add a proxy by using the system class set property and uh, in the key we are going to tell HTTP dot dot proxy host and in the value we will uh, give our choice of IP and now we will set port number in the key we will give the at parameter of proxy port and in the value we will give the port number uh, whatever you want to give like 328 312 or uh, these two lines will set our proxy or set our different IP or port number so no one can track you now let's run our code and see if it runs correctly you can see here our code work fine and uh, the connection still works and that means now you can uh, do do the extraction of data without uh, giving your ip or without giving your details after setting the proxy we will uh, learn about some other methods that can be useful for us like sometimes your uh, java crawler won't work properly uh, when forced to work with different content types uh, like by default this only allows working with html and xml content types and throws exceptions for others so you will need to specify an other method which is ignore content type uh, to tell the crawler to work with other content types such as rss atom and so on so let me add that method of ignore content type here ignore content as here and that will be set to true so after this your crawler will work fine and uh, you can add an other thing in your crawler that can be timeout method the default timeout of jsoup is 3000 milliseconds you can add uh, a method of uh, timeout and uh, if you uh, want an infinite time you can add a zero and otherwise you can add the some limited time like uh, 5000 6000 whatever you want uh, but uh, that file time out of jsoup is 3000 so if you want to increase your timeout request you can use this method so these are some uh, methods that can be helpful for you while creating your java crawler so uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, in the next video we will see some other features of jsoup